What is going on, guys? Rebel Training bringing you another week of our UNPL Draft League. That's right. We are up against our opponent, Danny Mech. Um, It's Danny Mech. Uh, his team consists of Latios, Cinderace, Enamorous, Gliscor, Golden Gold, Tink Cruel, Hitmonchan, Meganium, Pillow Swine, and Spirit Tomb. So, uh, Danny uh, is the owner of the league, or at least the one who runs it. And I greatly appreciate him, again, giving us the opportunity to be in this league, to be a part of it, to have an opportunity to kind of knock off the rust of our draft league content. So, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this battle. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to it since I've learned our schedule for the week and everything. So, this week we are bringing up against Danny um, Iron Valiant with Wise Glasses. Um, I feel like it does a lot against his team. Um, he's rocking with Knockoff Moonblast Psy Shock uh, to hit the Tentacruel on the physical side because he's especially bulky. A uh, Shadow Ball, uh, and then we're running our EB spread accordingly. Uh, Lynn, our scissor, is coming with Heavy Duty Boots, uh, Technician, Defog, Bolt Punch, U-Turn, Night Slash uh, to do all the things that we're hoping it can do. Uh, and then we got Arcanine, Iro with the Leftovers, Flash Fire uh, to check the Cinderace because I didn't really see um, Intimidate being really helpful, especially with a contrary type Enamorous that could potentially come. I didn't want him to run a physical set in Amorous in anticipation of that. So that's the re reasoning behind that. Uh, Temper Flare is a boost or a move that we're running on our uh, Arcanine this week. Um, it's pretty sweet in my mind. Um, it doubles its power if the last move fails. So it's 75 base, but it could be up to 150. Um, so it's kind of like an avalanche or a stomping tantrum type of deal. But what's sweet about it is that we're running Will-O-Wisp on him because he has some physical attackers that I would love to status and get some having other attack offense and everything uh, and play route. So we got some moves that can miss, uh, that can fail for whatever reason. And so that Temper Flare can potentially set up us uh, pretty well going forward and then extreme speed for any shenanigans that we need to kind of clean up house there. Um, and then we have our Roaring Moon, Druck, uh, Heavy Duty Boots, Dragon Dance, Iron Head, Crunch, Zen Headbutt. Uh, Roaring Moon is one of the fastest Pokemon. Um, it actually speeds ties Cinderace at base 119. So he does a lot for us, minus anything being Scarfed. Um, so with that, we had to run full uh, investment in speed, um, and we have to run it as uh, Jolly, right? Yeah, Jolly. Um, so hoping Roaring Moon does a lot. Dragon Dance is there to kind of help uh, increase our speed if there is a Scarfer that might be coming. Uh, which is why we brought Bear Scooter this week. Bear Scooter is Choice Scarf, Swift Swim, uh, Liquidation, Flip Turn, Crunch, Psychic Fangs. Uh, he's a Terra Captain, so he can Terra as well. Um, we're running Adamant because even uh, Scarf Cinderace is one speed click minus Bear Scooter Scarfed. So that's the reason why we're doing that and kind of just hoping that Bear Scooter is kind of like our end of the, end of the time, uh, cleanup, nonsense, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then I kind of struggled on our six mons. So this week we're bringing uh, Momo, which is running Leftovers, Levitate, Sunny Day, Volt Switch, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt. Sunny Day is kind of a move that if it's something we might need, um, we're going to run it because it's going to help out our Roaring Moon. Uh, helps nerf the Tentacruel and a couple other things. It does not help me against the Cinderace, unfortunately, but that's all right. Um, he's not going to stay in if that's the case. Um, so all that being said, that's the six that we're going to bring. Um, hopefully we have a great match against Danny. And guys, hopefully you enjoy it. We'll get connected with him, and you'll see in just a second. Here it too. All right. <clears throat> well, things I was not expecting to see, but that's all right. Um, no glide score, no golden go, no tentacruel, and no pill swine. All right. So, I think. I think that's what we're gonna rock with. So we'll see all that we can see. We said our good lucks have funds. I hope Danny has a has a great match. Hope we don't have any connecting issues like we did last week. Nothing we can do about that though. Um, so we'll see. We'll see the team that he brings and and what he does here. Sriracha. All right, Cinderace. Terrible start for us. Could easily go for a fire pyro ball here. Could easily just go for the U-turn. Both are not great for us, so. It's 
going to find out that we're not Intimidate. Oh, he brings agility. Okay. Big yikes, dog. All right. Um, I think I will here, honestly. Now, he is still just psychic, right? Um, so I think I think honestly, I just go for the play rough. Oh, he's electro ball. Interesting. All right, Danny said he brought a fun, some fun sets. So I, I am most intrigued to see what else he's gonna run on us. All right, that's some good damage for us. He brought special Cinderace. Interesting. Now, my question is, stream speed probably is not doing the most here. He withdraws, okay. Into Latios? Interesting. Okay. We see an item on Latios. We do not. Okay. Um, obviously I get switching the Druck pretty freely here. That feels really bad. And so does my fairy type. So I th think my best bet is Scizor. Though. But Scissor kind of feels like the middle ground. He <laughs> brings agility Latios too. Oh no. All right. All right. Oh, my word, Danny. Okay. Uh, Bolt Punch is doing the most. And that's if he's not special. If he is special, then I guess I'm in trouble. But okay, so he withdraws. Okay. Phew. Phew. Into Sriracha. Okay. I think Arganine picks up KO. Maybe not. Okay, so we know it's not Scarfed. We could have Sucker Punch. I think my safest play is to go Arcanine. Okay. So Cinderace is gone. And we know Latios is not Scarfed. Tombstoner. Okay. Now, honestly, this thing is just annoying.
could be Combine. Saying play rough does a lot. And honestly, a Willow on it feels pretty good too. I miss. And he's called mine. Okay. Calm mind stored power, maybe? Alright, so temper flare missed. So that should be doing over half now. So we'll reveal this tech. Yeah, this, that's that's about right where I want to see. Okay. Okay, so we see the leftovers. I think the most obvious switch for me is um, Roaring Moon here. So he's plus one, or plus two, plus two. Goes for Shadow Ball. Okay. That is unfortunate. Okay, do I go for the crunch? Now I got a calc. Shadow Ball is doing about 40. I'm at 257. I go for Crunch twice. Burning Jealousy. Interesting. Calm Mind, Shadow Ball, Burning Jealousy, maybe Pain Split. This Crunch should be picking us up here, though, I believe. Danny is bringing the sets. All right, this thing could be scarfed. This thing could be scarfed, and I'm not willing to take the chance on knowing that yet. And he could think I'm I'm banded or scarfed or something myself superpower okay all right i don't know what it is so it's it's superpower plus one versus scissor um, Bullet Punch is still taking this out. So... I think I just go for it, right? Okay. Okay. Some big threats down out of the way. Um, and he doesn't know if I am scarfed or not. 
Um, okay. So 206. I guess we find out if you're fast or not. You could have burnt, uh, Fire Punch. If he has Fire Punch, do I just go out to Arcanine? Do I need Scissor for anything else, really? I guess the Meganium, that would be super good, and, and Lottie. Um, I guess I go Arcanine here. I go Arcanine. Sword stance. <gasps> ah. Alright, sword stance what? Um close combat is hundred percent taking me out. Uh with no speed investment, I'm still faster. I'm gonna I'm gonna willow in the off chance. Here comes Terra. Alright, we're gonna find out. Terra Dark. Okay. Which is what I was expecting. If, if he was bringing him a chain and tearing it, I was expecting a dark, especially against Roaring Moon. And we are faster. Okay, that's awesome. Which means scissors faster than this too. Alright, so this thing is now dark and tarot. Oh, he has mock punch. Okay. So we see the mock. Okay, and he's plus four. But he's burned. Okay. I think I just go for another play rough. And I miss. Awesome. Terra Blast off. Okay. And Iro putting in the work this week. Joe went for the Temper Flare, but the Mach Punch picks it up. Okay. All right. Um, Scissor comes in. Scissor comes in and just cleans up. He can mock punch me. Um, actually, bullet punch picks it up here. I should be using my priority moves because they are there. All right, income cabbage. Um, U-turn is doing a lot, so I guess we reveal that we're not scarfed at this point. Oh, he's fast. We assume. Right, so he's at 388. He's at 388, and where's my Iron Valley at? 352. Air Scooter's at 556. Where's Rory Moon? 370. Yeah, so he's faster, especially if he's what? Jolly? Or Timid? No, Jolly. Yeah, he's 426. Um, Momo just makes sense here.
I just clicked Volt Switch. That old blizzard. Yikes, dog. In comes Lottie. I just click Shadow Ball. I'm faster than this thing? Not now. He is. He is no speed or or something. And Rotom picks it up. And that's a GG. Um, that was not how I expected that match to go at all. But uh, GG to my, my man, Di Stanley Mac. Um, guys, go check him out. Fantastic guy. Fantastic creator. Um, just an awesome dude all the way around. So make sure you guys go check out his side of the battle. Um, we have our next week's opponent, and I'll have to check that out. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Catch you guys next time. Peace.